All right, well, let's talk about another troubled sector of the economy, and that's the housing market. Seeing signs, though, of improvement in sales month over month, bit of good news perhaps, as well as year over year. My next guest has his eye on investing, making money off the housing market. Greg Rand, radio host and CEO of real estate website Own America, he's back with us now, and he's going to give us his take on where housing is headed next year, as well as a, a top city where there's all kinds of opportunity if you're a resident of that city or if you are an investor in that city. So it is It's Denver, time. Colorado. Denver, not a surprise. Colorado. There's not much wrong. Not much, <laughs> not much wrong. Not that's much a great to way to put it, actually. If you, if you live in Denver. It's and nobody seems to. You know, the fundamentals there are incredible. And that's what we focus on first, right? Are people moving there? Why are they moving there? We see migration going into Denver from all over the country. Okay, so they're pulling out of the northeast. They're pulling out of the southeast, pulling out of California. The average age is 31. That's amazing. That is it, such a young city. Yeah. Combined with the fact that you've got unemployment in Denver trending well below the national average, and right, the foreclosure the rate is like, according to your own research, like half, half of, the, national of the national average. So what is driving all of this positive momentum? Well, the amazing thing about it is that it, it comes down to the lifestyle. You know, if you go down and talk to people that live there, they say things. Like I talk to live audiences all over the country. I ask them in Denver, why do you like it here? You know, you hear things like, I don't like it, I love it and you couldn't pay me enough to move back to New York or California or whatever. It's simple things, right? Low cost of living, high quality of life, fresh air, all those outdoor sports, the biking, hiking, skiing, all that kind of stuff. And like attracts like. So you have a, a, a vibrant lifestyle there of young people who are fit, who are in shape, who are enjoying their lives, and it attracts more like that. Well, I would love to enjoy that kind of quality of life in Denver. Obviously, as a financial market report, I'm kind of stuck here in New York. Right, right. <laughs> so how do I take advantage of that at, from an investment perspective? Well, we're very big into the single family home, mm -hmm. two to four family and condo market in every market that we look at. And so what's great about it is that if you take all those fundamentals you just talked about and more, and you see the way that actually plays out, how do those fundamentals play out when it comes to home prices? We have a chart that maybe we can show that shows 15 years of the housing cycle in Denver, Colorado. This is the mid-90s all the way till today. You don't see a housing collapse in that chart. You see a correction, but it bounced back again. So that, you know, people who want to understand how to play the housing market, look at where people are going, because when they get there, they're going to want to live indoors, okay? It's real fundamental and really simple and fairly obvious, but if you can find a place that draws people like a magnet, you're seeing support for housing prices and rental prices well into the future. Big investment trend in housing for the new year, single-family REITs, Real Estate right. Investment Trust. Now, usually REITs cover apartment buildings or commercial real estate right. properties, so why is a single-family REIT coming into focus now? Right. Normally, a REIT would buy, if they were going to play the residential market, they'd buy a 250-unit apartment complex, mm -hmm. okay? But what's happening today, the reason why they're attracted into housing is that home ownership rates are going down, rental household demand is being increased by millions of new households every year, and so rents are going up. Normally, they would buy apartment complexes if they saw that play, but here's the only problem. Apartment complexes values are going up along with the rents because their, rents, their values are based upon rental rates and, and, uh, and, and positive cash flow. Single family home prices are, st are, are valued based upon comparable sales. Sure, sure. So you've got downward pressure on prices, upward pressure on rents simultaneously on only this asset class, single family and two to four family and condo. And so for the first time, you're going to see billions of dollars over the next five years coming in from publicly traded and non-traded REITs into single family homes. And a quick thing about the REIT, why it is a preferred investment strategy is because it's got a lot of flexibility, a lot of liquidity. So if any of these properties become cash strapped, there's somewhere to go. Right. Well, the, you know, if you're in a fund and you want to get some liquidity to pay a dividend or cover some expenses, you can't sell two or five apartments out of a 250 apartment apartment complex. You can shave off a few individual houses. So it's very granular. And so therefore, it's attractive for that reason also. Good stuff, Greg. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have